Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to Fast Food Tycoon. We're building our very own fast food restaurant. Uh, in the last episode, guys, I asked you if you wanted to turn this into a series. There were so many comments saying that you full play some more. There were so many likes, guys. We're back for a second episode. So if you want to see a third episode, guys, make sure you smash the like button again. Let me know, guys. Should we play some more? Let us know in the comment section down below. We also ask you guys as well that every episode we're going to be renaming the restaurant. Is it getting dark? I feel like it's slightly getting dark. We're going to be renaming the restaurant. And uh, I said a lot of uh, names to call it Muck Fools. So Muck Fools. Is that, does, it, does it just save like that? Yeah? Muck Fools, there we go. So guys, if you want me to rename the restaurant in the next episode, leave some name suggestions in the comment section down below. So we've kind of been grinding a little bit now then. Um, I kind of see, you can see like the, the path fight in here for the line. There's two people in the queue right now. She's getting uh, a chicken leg and a hamburger. We're going to make sure we, uh, oh, got a third person coming as well. We're going to make sure that, um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Do we have the stock for this? We've got, uh, we need to get some more stuff in storage, don't we? Right, if I get all the two of those. Oh, no, we got five in storage. Okay, we're okay, actually pretty, oh, chicken legs. We need some more chicken legs. Right, we'll order, how much are they? Is there 10 each? So, five uh, five of those, five of those, five of those. Pretty much five of everything right now. I'm going to quickly order. Just so we got some food in stock, so people can buy some stuff. Um, I want to try and actually, hold on. If I go to, look at the queue right now. The queue is getting huge. We actually need to actually close the, the restaurant down for just a moment. I'm so sorry, people. I'm so sorry. But I want to go into build. Because in the ceiling here, we can get lights. So you know, a concrete ceiling or a single light ceiling. Now, if I place this down, does it create light in your boy's restaurant? It kind of doesn't, does it? It kind of doesn't. I forgot how you know cancer. There we go. So let me get out of there. It kind of doesn't add any... Is that upside down? A part of me would like to think that is upside down. The lines are too long. Oh, we need to hire somebody else. Hold on. Is that upside down? That seems really weird. Uh, bulldoze that. Right. I can't rotate it. I feel like that's upside down. Why would there be a light above? It's kind of weird, isn't it? It's legit kind of weird. But anyway, we're getting, we're getting some large lines now. So we do need to buy like an extra uh, cash register. Which will drop down there. Meaning that we need to then hire a second cash ear. And hopefully. Hopefully the queues will start to reduce a little bit. But I want to focus on uh, spending some extra money on seating areas. So let's go to the seating areas now. Which is it? Customer service seating. Uh, we're going to buy these ones because you know at the moment. I don't have too much money. I don't want to spend too much money either. There we go. Uh, two seats there. And miscellaneous. What we got in miscellaneous now? We got plants. Um, how do we go back to the build there? there was the, I'm sure it's... No, not build. Where is it? Hold on, hold on. I, I got to learn where everything is. Customer service, trash bins, and a refill machine. So if I drop a re refill machine like here. And then we put like a trash can like there. That will be perfect, won't it? We've made some huge improvements to your boy's restaurante. Right, and I think we're pretty much ready to open it back up. So, bam, open up. And now we just wait for the people to come in. More importantly, I would like it to be daytime, please. I would like it to be daytime. The night cycles, just in any Roblox game, are just too long. And, you know, the lighting in this game doesn't really work. Can you buy lighting? Miscellaneous plants, speaker system. Oh, we need to buy, we need to get like a set of toilets like, up as well, don't we? Customer service. No, 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 no. You can't buy lights just yet, but we need some form of lighting in this game. We need some form of lighting. Right, let's get back in here then. So the queues are now rocking and rolling. I'm not sure if we need to, at this point, um, hire an extra cook. They've got the progress bar right now ticking along quite nicely. So how, I mean... Are they waiting too long? Uh, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta watch the cut. You see what the customers are asking. I feel like we need to hire another cook. Can I do it while um 
while we were open. Have I got yeah, another cook's coming in. Is he now gonna like kill the game and tick along just nicely? I hate how long uh, how the lines are so long. Yeah. Well, we got an extra cook now, so they should be like cooking up the food like a little bit quicker. Well, twice as fast with an extra one. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. They're taking a while to actually um this person's dancing there. They're taking a while to actually serve someone. What's going on? What's going on? Can you serve somebody, please? There we go. Righty, there we go. Sweet. Sweet, mate. Okay. So, something I need to do then. I think I just got a little bit brighter. I don't know. Uh, so, what we need to do is then expand a little bit further because we now need to start thinking about like buying or, or setting up like the, like the kind of toilet area. So, I'm thinking if I buy the area next to it on the left hand side there and use that little there as like an entranceway into a, like, a, like a bathroom section, um, the queues. The queues aren't too bad. They're manageable. We're getting money for it. So, but how much is it going to cost now for us to expand out? Add a drive through gain more customers. It's kind of locked at the moment. So maybe that's coming soon. Oh, we need to close down the restaurant. I keep forgetting we have to like constantly close down the restaurant. It's slightly annoying that we have to do that. But, you know, it kind of makes sense. Kind of makes sense. You have to close it down, but it is slightly annoying. Um, right. Expand. It's going to cost a thousand. Whoo! Your boy's got 3,600. Right, I'll do it. Just because. Uh, we're going to get the bulldoze on the go now. So let's get out of here. Let's skid down to the boy. And let's uh, demolish some of this stuff here. Right, I'm going to use some of this area here to expand the kitchen and the, 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 um, the counters over a little bit. So we can have like an extra one going down. So we have to go to build then for the flooring. And we'll do the concrete because, you know... I'm, I'm put well the concrete. Yeah, the concrete is the cheapest. I'm about to say some poor right now. I kind of am I gotta be careful how much I'm actually spending Right, uh, we can expand there So that's 500 Another 500 Another 500 and now I'm legit poor now. I'm legit poor. Now, do we have the option to move stuff? We don't really have the option to move stuff. Do we? It's not really a thing in the game. You kind of have to like legit bulldoze it to move it Right there we go Sweet, mate. Okay, so we've got 50 cash in game. Did you, we did not get no money for the bulldoz. We got no money for the bulldoz. <laughs> Sad times. Right, we're not opening back up then. So we can then start to earn some cash money moolah. So we've expanded out then. We'll bring the kitchen over by once. We've had like a third counter. And I can possibly place in another uh, like equipment for the kitchen. And then we use the two block gap here to turn it into like a toilet system. Toilet system, a toilet area, <laughs> a restroom. So we're just waiting for now the people to arrive and your boy to get the cash money right. moolah. The sun's out, shining, but it's still dark. Kind of annoys me when games have day and night cycles, but then like, it just gets so dark. Like if the night cycle doesn't really add anything to the game, don't have it. Just have it constantly daytime, it's better. Look at it, the sun's out, shine. Well, the sun's not really out, it's somewhere, it's somewhere, but it's still dark. But I've been watching, um... How the staff have been interacting because like the main thing about when you like play games like these you have to learn how things work And I've been watching the the cooks now what's come to my attention is One if one goes to the fridge the other one literally cannot do nothing until that other one is finished in the fridge But yet they're quite comfortably working on separate stations So it's like, like there you go now like where's the fridge this dude thinks that the fridge don't exist because this person's using it so technically, does that mean we have to have like one fridge per station? That's kind of like how I'm feeling it's kind of going right now. Uh, we've got quite a bit of money now. The queues are building up. Uh, I've had to restart quite a few times. So I'm going to close the store. And I've, I've also kind of figured out where the move tool is as well. Uh, it's not here. It's in the furnishing one. So if I move the fridge there, move that there, that there. And um, obviously, I assume as well, when you buy better grills, better equipments of each version, uh, you can cook a lot quicker. But I'm going to buy a refrigerator now. So there's one either side of them. So they can go to either side. Hopefully they don't crisscross, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it play this one plays out. It's finally getting daytime as well, which is really nice. But that's what I've been watching with the, with the cook. So, you know, you got to find ways on how you can, like, make the, you know, your cooking systems more fluid. So we're going to have to build now then uh, to the walls and just get some basic walls going down now. There we go. 
bring it all around. We don't really want any windows around this area because this is where it's going to be uh, like the bathroom section. So a wall there, a wall there. There you go. And then we need to uh, place down like a, uh, what's, it, what's it called? Um, see, oh, we've got two menus open at once there. Uh, is it management, customer service? It's the counter we need here. There we go. And then we need to get a cash. Yes, I can. And then we're going to hire another cashier. I could be crazy doing this. We'll see. We'll legit see. Right. Sweet. The staff door then. Hopefully, and so these guys are being more fluid. He's going over to here. Hopefully, she goes over to there to the fridge. Like, she, she computes in her mind that there is another fridge available. You never know. She could, like, now he's finished using that. She could, she could legit walk over to here. Is that kind of out of place a little bit? It kind of is, isn't it? A little bit weird, but hey ho, there you go. Why we got? We, oh, we need to clean up. We need to, your boy needs to clean up over here. We got to clean up on our phrase that we need to sort out. There we go. We need to hire a cleaner at some point too. We've got this as well. What? Are they not using this? It's kind of weird. Uh, what's he saying there? You need to buy more French fries. Oh, am I out of stock? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, potatoes. Let's uh, bring this up to ten. Right, order. How much is that? It wasn't too. I ordered a bit more. We actually sell quite a few fries, so we'll we, we get a few of those ordered in. Some buns as well. Uh, this is when you like the manager and the audience order system kind of all set up as well. You need to get this going down. Right, all that. Right, we kind of fold out. So we'll we just let we continue to use that little section there. Right, uh, there's a dude just joined in with like half a billion. Because that seems legit. That, that seems legit. Like, can you even buy that type of cash? Uh, it'll take you a while to buy that type of cash. There's a lot of Robux spent. He's glitched the system somehow. GG, dude. GG. <laughs> right, uh, miscellaneous. No, is it, it's in customer service, isn't it, for the toilets area? No. Management? No. Miscellaneous? Nah, miscellaneous. So to we got urinals and a toilet stool. So we got different versions of them. So that's like a more fancier version, which is quite cool. Should we drop one of those? No, no. Or, or ver versus this one. What's the, what's the difference here? Toilet stall one and two. Ah, one's got like the end wall on, hasn't it? Uh, he's got like a sink in there as well. I think he's got a sink in there. No, that one has a sink too. That one's got an end wall. See, that's kind of interesting. So I'm, I'm going to drop some urinals down. Uh, I'm not sure where to actually place them. Uh, maybe here will be a good shout for him for the urinals. Um, or do I do it like there? It kind of glitches in the wall. I don't like how it does that. Um, all right, we'll throw you rhinos here. And then we'll have like a basic toilet stool, which can go... Well, we, want, we really want it over here, don't we? Like that. So they drop another one down, or is that too much? No, I don't have enough money to do that. So we have a toilet system set up here then. I don't like how that glitches through the wall. It's a bit weird. It's flush on some walls, but other walls it's not. Right, did I just lose all my customers or something? What happened? Am I open for business? No, I'm not even open. Holy moly. Well, I wouldn't be. I was building, wasn't I? Damn fool. So we got we got some form of toilet system or restroom setup now. Where's that? Well, I'd say, where's that dude with uh, the big, with all the cash money moolah? He's got a big restaurant. There's the lights. I just don't get the lights. I don't know whether that's like, you know, if that's on purpose or like unintentional, how the lights are above on the, I don't know. Maybe the, the signaling, it's like the Batman symbol. They're trying to signal Batman to come to the restaurant. I don't know. I don't know. Right, we got three cashiers now all up and running. Killing it right now. Uh, we're just waiting for some new customers to come in. We got three lines. We got a restroom section here, which, oh, we need to put a door on, don't I? What type of doors have I got? Entrance door. Uh, normal standard doors here. Hmm. How much different? I don't even have enough for the entrance door anyway, so we'll, we'll keep it like that. The toilets are around the corner. Around the corner. So this guy wants it to go. He likes some french fries, apples, and a chicken leg. Now, I wonder if two chefs simultaneously work on, on orders. Where is the fridge? So it looks like they're only computing that there's only one fridge. I don't know how that kind of works then. Did they only detect one fridge? Is, is that how it works? I don't know. I don't know. I'm intrigued to see how it goes. But I kind of want to go check out that dude's huge restaurante. Like, he's got 11 customers in there right now. It looks huge. I think he's coming over to uh, for me to check it out. He's got like, the, the extended car park too. 
Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Right, this is looking pretty dope. Can I go in there? Yeah, I can go in there too. Whoa! This is the management section here, isn't it? This is kind of cool. Wait, do we... Did the refill machines have to be in the kitchen area? I don't know. Guys, if you know about that, let me know in the comment section down below. But he's got the huge uh, cafeteria section in there. All the gumball machines. He's got a cleaner running about. He's got some... Some hot jams uh, right now. He's got the toilets all set up. This is looking pretty dope. I like this. This dude's getting quite nice. He's getting quite crusty. Impressive. Impressive, dude. Right, so I've st apparently still got three customers in there. I've got three thirty cash now rolling in. Let's head back. Let's make sure the, uh, it's running smoothly. I feel like, uh, because you can do expansions, like the upgrades here for like more customers, more parking lot, stuff like that. But I feel like I don't need that right now. I'm getting just, a, just the right amount of customers coming in. You boys getting the right amount of customers, uh, which is uh, ticking along quite nicely. Ticks along quite nicely. I don't need any more. I, found, I think I got the perfect balance right here. It's just now all about, let's bang my hand. It's now all about like just expanding the restaurant, getting the toilet systems down, uh, expanding the canteen area like where, you, where they sit down and eat their food and just giving giving more back to them and over time we slowly start to upgrade like the grill and stuff like that and the you know the the deep fryer and the fridges we also need to place a sink in too at some point uh hire some customers and also get the ordering system set up as well wait this auto orders for you that's the kind of stuff your boy needs to get set up, but that's over time. We, we, we need to we need to slowly build it up before we get that far. But guys, if you enjoyed this and want to see an episode three, let me know in the comment section down below. I will say one thing: the night cycle is so much longer than the day cycle. It's already dark. It's already getting dark. Just, just have it constantly day. There's no need for the night in this game because we don't close at night time. It's weird, it's weird. But anyway, guys, if you do enjoy it, hit the like button down below for new animation, subscribe. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, goodbye.